Gail, and the question of AI consciousness is um, in the news, in the public square, because of uh, large language mo models and, uh, and their uh, passing the so-called Turing test pretty easily that they can fool us to think that they are conscious. Everybody, nobody, or very few people think they are conscious today, but I'm talking about in principle. And uh, what I want to ask you is, uh, as a panpsychist who believes that um, consciousness sits at the fundamental, uh, m the most fundamental part of reality, um, does that give more or less credence to the possibility of creating AI consciousness? And I would say it would give more credence because consciousness is everywhere anyway, and therefore it can work, or it can be less because if consciousness is some fundamental part of reality, then it, it may be less manipulable by technology. So I'm, I, 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 I can't figure out as a panpsychist if, yeah. on which side of the, 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 the fence you'd be on. Yeah, I'd probably go for more rather than less. Well, the first thing, I, I'm actually dreading the next few decades because this issue is going to become very acute and people are going to say that because it's behaving in this intelligent way it must be conscious but as I, I do think that there is no necessary connection between intelligent behavior and consciousness so I think that no however smart LLMs get um, that will never be sufficient to attribute consciousness to them. That will be a question of fact, which will be empirically undecidable. And so, but there ha there, people will say there has to be consequences. In other words, if, if it has all the, be all, the argument is if they have all the attributes of what we think is consciousness, the problem of other minds, if it acts exactly the way you act, in my view, if there's an AI duplicate of Galen here, that uh, is duplicate and, and, and has all the characteristics, uh, even though I can never know for sure whether it is conscious, just like I can never know for sure you're mm -hmm. conscious, yeah. what are the issues that we have to deal with in terms of rights and responsibilities yeah. and morality? And yeah. That well, is a real issue. I mean, I, I suspect that what will happen is that we will start to think that we have to give them the benefit of the doubt yeah. and that we will have to um, treat them as moral beings just in case. Um, which is fine by me. Uh, uh, but as I say, uh, intelligent behavior, no amount of intelligent behavior is reason to think that there's consciousness. That is my view. It just hap they just happen to go together in our case. Okay, now, why did I say that I, uh, I said that panpsychism would support the idea that they, yeah. these things could be conscious? Um, that's be because when they get sufficiently complicated as physical structures, it, there is maybe some reason to think that macro consciousness of the sort that we know is a function of that kind of complication. And so if they've got that kind of complication, they may, so this kind of macro consciousness may indeed arise. On the other hand, it might just be on the less side, in fact, very much as you put it, uh, it could be a matter of the details of uh, the arrangement of the matter. You know, may, to put it crudely, maybe we need what people call wetware uh -huh. to get consciousness. I don't know. Uh, I really think it's going to be very interesting and slightly strange yeah. and perhaps yeah. I, I would push on that and say that if you're a real materialist in, in your terminology where consciousness is baked into the material world, That's right. I would think in principle, there's no question. You have to have AI be really mm. conscious, no, because, because you can duplicate wetware by you know manipulating molecules. Oh well, or, yes. I mean, assuming technology oh, no, no, can no, grow no, for. No. Uh, ah. So mm. in principle, it, it seems to me that you you, well, you would. You can duplicate it by having making babies, but um, do you mean structurally duplicate? Yeah. Ah, yeah. But then that's that's a big issue. I don't think that structural isomorphism at that level is sufficient to think that there's going to be consciousness. Well, what, what, what is sufficient? Well, the, the issue of, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it, uh, also, I mean, I've got a, another argument here, which I don't think I can kind of bring onto the stage now, which is that 
um, st structure goes all the way down and the, there will be structural differences between your brain and the AI machine but simply because you're made of different matter. The matter is differently arranged and that will be It's differently arranged but with, with, with uh, increasing technology. I'm not talking about 50 years, I'm talking about 50,000 years. Oh, 50,000 years. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it's a question of an in-principle point, not, not a practical uh, oh. engineering you mean point if you can get in our lifetime. If it's a 3D printer that prints out a, yeah. a brain, of course. Okay. Then I'm, I, will, I will be certain, effectively certain that it is conscious, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs>